So ladies and gentlemen, let's go and take a look at this example here. Here I have y equals x plus 1 squared minus 3. Now the first thing we want to do is, kind of like what we did for standard form, is make sure we understand what our, our vertex is going to be. OK, so here's our, here's our vertex form. And you can see this is in vertex form. Now, again, it's very important for us to be able to understand what is our h and our k. And to represent this in like true vertex form, I can rewrite this as x minus a negative 1 squared minus 3. Does everybody see this? Because I'm representing this way so you guys can see why we're, why we're using the opposite of that h. x minus negative 1 is the same thing as x plus 1. Does everybody agree? But x minus 1 tells us that our h is negative 1. Do you guys see that? So now my vertex, I can quickly say, is negative 1, negative 3. Okay, And yeah, once you guys get used to this, you can say, oh yeah, it's always the opposite of inside the parentheses. So that's negative 1, that's negative 3. There's my vertex. Cool. So now let's go and graph the vertex. So unlike my parent graph, my vertex is not at 0, 0. Now my vertex is at negative 1, negative 3. 1, 2, 3. So what has my graph done? It has shifted uh, one unit to the right. And it has shifted three units down. OK? So you guys see how my h and my k affected how it shifted, transformed the graph? All right, so now let's go back and look into our a. Notice that our a in this case is 1. So basically, it's positive, so I know my graph opens up. Right? I know my graph opens up. You can turn in when you're done. Huh? Since, one, since my a is positive, I know my graph opens up. Right? If a was negative, it would open down. So here's my vertex. I know the graph was going to open up. Because previously, what we did, we didn't know if it opened up or down. We just plotted points, right? And just kind of saw where they're at. So by looking at A, I can make now the distinction that my graph is going to go up. Now, what's very helpful is since our A is not, a, not um, compressing or stretching our graph, we can use the relationship of our parent graph to find our remaining points. Because remember, this is the, this is the parent graph where A is equal to 1. So therefore, here is my vertex. Disregard that from a little problem. Here's my vertex. To find the next point, I go over 1, up 1. I can do that from here. Over 1, up 1. And I can do it in the other direction. Over 1, up 1. Because that's, that's the nice thing about that axis symmetry. Over 1, up 1. Over 1, up 1. Then I go over 2, up 4. Over 2, up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Over 2, up 4. Okay. Now, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, you can continue using a table of values. But we, by using the table of values, we proved these are our next four. These are our five points. So I can literally, all I'm doing from from this equation to that equation, all I did was shift my graph one down unit to the left and three units down. But the remain the shape of the graph remained the same. Yes, Cole. Why did it go over two up four? Over two up four? Because remember when we did our table of values. When you plug in two, when you do a table of values, you plug in two. When you plug in two, what do you get? Four. So from the point 0, 0, the another point on the graph is 2, 4. As long as you have your a is 1. And I'll show you what happens when your a is not 1. OK? And that equation, no a. Well, your a is 1, just like the parent graph. That's why I did this. I, all, I, what I want you, all I want you to notice from this to this, the only difference between this equation and that equation is this one is being shifted left 1 and down 3 units. So therefore, over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4, the graph should look exactly the same. I'm just taking this graph, shifting it like that. See what I'm saying? So the points in relation to the vertex are going to be exactly the same. Oh, it's, the same exact graph. it's the exact same graph. Yeah. Because there's no di the only difference is it's being shifted left and right. But the graph remains exactly the same. And that's one thing with two graphs. No, this is just like, this is the, what you call your parent graph. OK? Here is the example of the problem that I'm doing. But to teach this, I use the parent graph. I want you guys to understand what this graph looks like. Because this is the quadratic with no transformation. 
okay? Um, but once we start applying transformations, when the A is 1, just like the parent graph, all you're doing is shifting that graph left to right. Same thing. If I would have done this, if I said x squared plus 1, graph that. OK, you take this whole graph and shift it up one unit. See what I'm saying? So like the relationship of how the points are related to each other are the same. You're just taking that graph and shifting it up one. OK? Darius, you can just turn in. Nope, you can sit down. Let's just go and turn them in. Huh? 